Hello, I am Sierra Cast. Today, we will be exploring iMovie. It is an easy to use app that can create video projects by cutting and editing video, music, and graphics using different video and or still photos. Here is how to get started with iMovie. Be sure to use the same device to take your video or photos, or be sure to have them saved onto your device so that you have access to them. Once you are in iMovie, click this plus sign for create project. Then click movie. Under media over here on the left, you can see you have access to your videos and photos. I'm going to click on photos and then I will select the photos I would like to use. And you'll see there will be a little blue circle with a white check mark when they're selected. Now I also have a video I'd like to use, so back up here I'm going to click on that back arrow for media and go back to videos, and then I'm going to select my video. Once I've selected it, you'll see a play button will show up and also a check mark. I'm going to click that check mark and turn it blue. Now I have all of my different media types selected, so I will down on the bottom click this blue create movie. So here is, shows down here on the bottom, has all of my different media that I've put in. Now these arrows in between each one are the ways that you transition. So if I would like to make the transitions a little fancier, I can select an arrow and I can choose a different one. So from this photo, I would like it to slide to the next and slide. I'm going to click each one and change those. You've got all kinds of different effects. You've got the dissolve, slide, wipe, fade. I'm going to slide from photo to photo, and then I'm going to fade out into my video. All right, so I have all of my transitions in there. And then if I click on my video, this is now selected. I can now um, detach the audio, or I can duplicate this video. Uh, I can do some speed changes, volume, add some titles or filters. So detach audio, if I wanted to do that, I would just click here and I can change that yet by sliding those yellow bars on the audio down here, I can change the start and end times or I can completely delete that from the video and from my movie. However, I do want to have that audio in, so I'm just going to hit that back button and put it back. Now, when I select that, if I did want to shorten my clip from the beginning, I could slide that yellow bar in, or if I wanted to cut something off of the end of it, I could slide it this way. So this is where you have a little bit of wiggle room here to decide if you want to clip some of your video or split. Now, once you have made some changes to it, you can always hit that play button to now go through and see so far what your movie is looking like. All right, so I'm gonna hit pause. And now I would like to, in my whole project, add some music to it. To add some music, right up here in the top right, you have a plus sign. You're going to click that plus sign. And down here, you'll see where it shows media in the blue. Instead, you're going to select audio where you see that music note. And if you have any of your own personal music you've got on your uh, device or any other um, music, you, this is where you would go for that. Now, if you don't, you could click sound effects and there are different sound effects in here and you also have soundtracks and in soundtracks you can go through and just kind of pick, click on them pick through i'm going to go with the playful category and i'm going to use this back to normal in order to put that in i'm going to click the plus sign and now down here you'll see that green bar so my audio has been added now I do not want my audio to play during my video because of my video still has its own audio. So I can change that by clicking my audio green bar and I can slide this yellow bar right there. That way when my video begins, the music has ended. So now that I think I like it, we're going to hit 
the play and see what it looks like. I think right here at the beginning, I would like to add a title. So I'm going to select that photo and then click titles. And there are different ways you can have it come in. I'm gonna say pop up. And then I'm going to, you can also change the color over here. You'll see the font. You can also see the colors. And um, here you've got other different effects as well and options. So now I'm gonna click this text up here, click edit and I'm going to give it a little title. Okay, and I'm gonna slide it maybe right there. Okay, so now I am finished with that. I'm going to slide it back over here and click play. And you can see the difference that that made giving it a title. You can do that on each photo and even on videos. So once you are finished, you're going to in the top left corner, click done. And you now have your movie created. From here, you can either play, share, edit, or delete your video. So again, that is how you can use iMovie to help with your video creations. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to check out our other resources.